I had a uh, message while I was working today. And uh, so the message kind of hit me while I was working and I ended up, uh, I had to kind of pray about it to calm down because I was just like, when it hit me, it was just, it hit me hard. It felt like there was, there was a fire just inside my bones. And uh, yeah, I, had to, I had to calm down before i mean it, it it was it was it was like i got a direct download from god and uh it was it was just i mean it was awesome but i felt like it wouldn't be conveyed right if if i just let it go it'd be like i was shouting at people <laughs> so uh I, I i i prayed about it and i actually wrote it down and instead i felt like that was the the better the better option so i i'm just going to i'm just going to read it Okay, so the message I got was, the Bible Belt is slipping. And here it goes. <laughs> I feel as though there's a fire inside of me. And, and like I was saying, it, it just felt like it was deep down in my bones, like I had to get it out. And I sat there and I just had a conversation with God and uh, like most conversation, it feels kind of one way, you know? <laughs> and uh, it it was me going, God, I just, I want that bigger platform, you know, before I say stuff like this, because, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that can get misconstrued, and, uh, you know, I have no fear, but, you know, don't want to lose my job and everything, obviously, but, you know, some people get offended by the gospel message, and, you know, I'm past the point of being afraid about what I, what I have to say. If God has something for me to say, I'm just going to say it, and, uh, so here it goes. Uh, this message, it hit me while I was, I was just doing some praise and worship to the Most High while I was driving down the road working. And uh, it's, it's just, it hit me that the Bible, belt, the Bible Belt is so loose, it's about to fall off exposing our nakedness. Uh, we have allowed the enemy to creep into our midst. He is abundant in our nation, our state, and our homes. Uh, where did we go so wrong? How far as a country have we fallen? A charcoal soap won't fix this mess on our hands. Duct tape is no solution for our worn Bible belt. Oh, and someone told me they thought Georgia was the, the buckle of the belt. Uh, well, that's kind of laughable. Uh, so I think we should slide that over and give that to Alabama, the state that everyone laughs at. The butt of every joke. The way they stick up for God's standards is beyond measure. Uh, they may not be perfect, but right now they are a shining torch in comparison to the rest of the so-called Bible Belt. Uh, why do we sit idly by wringing our hands? We cringe, we pull our hair, exclaiming, what do we do? Uh, does God not have a solution? Of course he does. God is the solution. God... God has, he himself is the solution. God has his players right where he wants them. They're right in place. God is ne never, he's never taken by surprise. God is not the ambush, he's not the ambushy, he's the ambusher. He is always millions of steps ahead of the enemy. There, I mean, it's a joke. It's not a chess match. It's, it's not, the enemy makes moves, so God has to make a move frantically. God is always in control and we it, our attitudes are just are just so terrible as a nation and and even as a church we, we need to be focused on him and praise and worship and uh, you know you go to go to church nowadays and uh, it may, may not be your church but there are so many churches out there where you see somebody they're just there as a as, as some sort of social club and and they have their arms folded during praise and worship. They might lip sync along with the songs. Uh, they are others that treat it like it's a concert. It's not a concert. It's not a show for you. It is it, it is there. We are to praise and worship. It is there. We are there to honor the Most High. It, it, he is Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and God of Gods. He is holy. He is worthy to be praised. And we. We don't, we don't act like it.
I mean, as a majority, we do not act like it. Do we act like he's in control or do we fret all the time? Uh, what does the Bible say about worrying? I mean, it doesn't add any time to our lives. It doesn't do anything. It, it's, 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 God would not have us worry. Worrying is a lack of faith. Uh, that's, well, that's it. We just need to act uh, like he's in control because he is. And we just need to, sometimes we need a reminder that he is in control, but it's, <laughs> he is good. And we just, we just need to remember that. All right. God bless you guys. Thanks for letting me talk.